Did you finish number two? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's continue with the next lesson. Did you finish number two, Karen? Just copying. Okay, okay. Ben? Yeah. Karifa? So, so some of you do, some of you don't. Oh, no, English. Oh, English. For brain, we didn't have something. No, I just. What just one second is busy? I don't know. Yeah, going. maybe you're hungry. Did you have lunch? Yeah, I had lunch. Did you have breakfast? No. That's I terrible. Know, I know usually. Ah, that's terrible. You should have breakfast. Why? It's good for you. Did you have breakfast? No. Did you have breakfast? <laughs> oh, oh, a long time. Did you have breakfast? It's not good, you see. Cool. Cola. Oh, damn. Orange. No. You all should eat breakfast. This is why you get so tired. Really? I'm not no tired energy. Not. I'm not tired. Not Conservation of energy. You know, food gives energy. Then you can work. <laughs> right. What's wrong? I'm not tired. Have, no. yeah? Do we have the result from Joe? Is that? Joe? Your maths? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, we didn't have the results. She didn't told us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But email sent us. The she email. said, John said she'll tell you after the meeting today. When do you have? When do you have, Joan? Tomorrow? Maybe she'll tell you in class tomorrow. Because first she wanted to have a meeting with the other teachers because we were talking today about your predicted grade. Oh. You know. Did you get your predicted grade? Yeah. No. Who's your tutor? Send the email. Yeah, he'll tell you. Our science. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's your tutor? Column. Column. So I think he'll talk to you about your predicted grade. Tomorrow. You know. Do you have them tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll continue. We'll see how much we'll get through this. We'll start it anyway. It's latent heat. Yeah. Latent heat. Did you write this down? Okay, good. Good. Just waiting for Ben. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right. What's the best that's maybe? Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. If you don't know it, it's okay. Um, consider a block of ice which is slowly being heated. That's ice. That's you know ice? I know ice. Good, okay. That's good. That is, a fixed amount of heat is being pumped per time. For example, maybe 4,200 joules of heat is given to the ice per second, for example. Um, so, the temperature of the ice will increase, right? If you have some ice, and you put some heat into it every second, what will happen to its temperature? Obviously, it'll get hotter. Let us look at the graph. So, the graph is quite interesting. So here's the ice. Maybe the ice begins at minus 100. This axis is temperature, and this is energy, okay? So here you give it no energy. Its temperature is minus 100. Here you give it some more energy, its temperature goes up. Okay, but then something interesting happens. Here, it stops getting hotter. You give it more energy, it stops getting hotter. And then it continues to get hotter again. So what is happening here that's so special? It became water. It became water, yeah. And then it keeps getting hotter, 
And then here, it becomes, it's, it becomes gas. Well, for a long time. And then it starts to get hotter again. Yeah? Now, what is the meaning of this length? What I mean is, this length is much more than this length. So what does that tell me about changing from uh, liquid to gas instead of solid to liquid? What's, what do we know that's different in each process? Yeah, which is easier? Yeah, the ice to water is quicker and easier than turning it from water to steam. This takes much more energy, takes much more time. Okay. Now in the exam, they sometimes ask you to draw this graph. So they want to see, number one, they want to see a flat line at zero and 100 Celsius. That's number one. Number two, they also want to see that this line you draw is longer than this line. Okay? And also, number three, you see these two? They're about the same. They're quite steep. This one in the middle is not as steep. Yeah. Now, the reason this is steeper than this is what? Why? Why is this why does this go up quicker than this? You know, can you see what I mean? Like it's steeper. Yeah. yeah. yeah why is that? Because um, it's yeah the the time. Not because of the time. No. And it's it's the equation. It's what? The equation. What? Of the same uh, solid solid becomes yeah. equal. Oh, well, that's here. So the reason is the specific heat capacity for ice is smaller. Oh, it's smaller, it's smaller. So that means a little heat can get it hotter quicker than when it's liquid. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah? yeah? And what's the specific heat capacity for gas? It's about the uh, same. Guys, gas is... Yeah, it's about the same as yeah, yeah, ice. Yeah. What's our bed? It's okay. No problem. No problem. Great. Wonderful. Okay. So I want you to try and copy this. And when you copy it, please remember. Please wait. Please remember. You should draw this line longer than this line. Okay. And these two steeper than this one. Maybe you're sick, girl. Let's see if I double. Maybe she needs a, a cup of coffee. coffee. Yeah, maybe she needs coffee. Do you have food in your bag? You have medicine? You want water? I can I can spray you to keep you cool. <laughs> Just water. Oh, what's your wash the board? What's your lunch? My lunch? Sandwich? Chicken sandwich and milk. I went to Lidl. Lidl? Lidl? Yes. Is Lidl near here? I cycle. Oh. Maybe five minutes. Oh, in by, by, Yeah, oh, right. that one. Yeah. This is where you do your shopping now. It's your local Lidl. <laughs> you know this one? Ben? I know Lidl. Yeah, there's one near the school. Cheap food. Food. Uh, Subway is okay. It's not great. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you mean it's a great? Well, I just mean great for my money. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. You know, so like Lidl, you can get a sandwich for like one forty. What? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Now you understand. Yeah, I know. I understand. Can you get a sandwich in Subway for one forty? No. 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 Four euros yeah. minimum. Yeah. And usually with Lidl, Aldi, where Lidl and Coke. Yep. Not, not super value. Not super value, no. Not Tesco. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. like Tesco. No, I don't either. I don't like Spar. You don't like Spar? Spar? Yeah. Super value? Yeah. I don't Too like expensive. Tesco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't like Tesco. The food. Stupid. The food. You don't like the food? Yeah. Do you need to go, go? Gas, okay. Are you sick? I spoke I'm, I'm pretty okay during the class, just suddenly a little bit of maybe, it's, here. maybe it's physics. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, continue. Did you draw this, Kalisha? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So um What's happening here is you need the energy not to change the temperature, but to change the state from solid to liquid, 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 liquid to, gas. to gas. Yeah. So this energy, we call it the latent heat. So the latent heat of a material is the energy you need so that a unit mass can change its state from solid liquid gas to a different state. Now, please remember, a lot of students forget this in the exam. You need to say without a change in the temperature. Okay. So the latent heat is to turn the liquid into the gas, for example, but not change in the temperature. So maybe this is at 100 Celsius and it becomes gas at 100 Celsius. The energy is called the latent heat, mm -hmm. the energy you need. It's similar to the heat capacity formula. So CO two to the dry ice. Yeah, well the CO two um, dry ice, the latent heat is for it to go from solid to gas. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's quite small because it's very easy to turn it into gas, I think. Continue? You got that? Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 You can. Okay. So, the latent heat of fusion is for changing uh, solid to liquid. You know, for melting. Melton. And the latent heat of vaporization, what do you think that's for? That's the energy you need to do what? The energy required for boiling. So if you want to melt something, you know, melt solid to liquid, uh -huh. that's called latent heat of fusion. Uh -huh. If you want to boil it, uh, liquid to gas, that's called latent heat of vaporization the steam yeah
Right, so the formula is quite simple, simpler than the other one. The energy required to change the state, but not change the temperature, just change the state, is simply ml. So the mass you want to change times its latent heat. Yeah. Is that okay? So it can be called the MC potential. Now you can add it. Add it. Add it to MC delta T. Yeah. We'll do an example, don't worry. Uh, sorry, that should say that should say delta Q here. Got that? I see two of you still writing. Yeah. Continue? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Right. So you don't need to write this down um, because you know this. Water will freeze at zero. You know this. Yeah. Water boils at a hundred. You know this. Okay. Now, what you don't know, the latent heat of fusion for water. Now, please note, this is kilo. So you need 334,000 334, joules per kilogram to change water from ice to, to liquid. Now, um, what about the latent heat of vaporization? Will that be bigger or smaller than this number? Smaller. Uh, bigger. 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 The latent heat of vaporization is 2,265,000 2, joules, kilojoules per kilogram. Note that water could be a liquid at 100. In fact, it is a liquid at 100 until it gets enough energy to become steam. So just because the water is 100 doesn't mean it's steam. It could still be liquid. Okay. Right. The same for zero. At zero, it could be uh, liquid or solid. So you don't have to write this down. Again, I just want you to listen carefully. Imagine you have ice at minus 20 and you put it in a microwave. You all have a microwave at home, yeah. right? So what happens to the ice? So firstly, it's at minus 20. Then it starts to warm up and reaches zero. It remains at zero for some time as it melts, but it's still zero as it's melted, okay? The ice will melt into water. The water will be at zero. Then what happens? The water warms up to 100. Then what happens? It will stay at 100 for some time while it boils. Now the water is steam at 100. The steam will start to warm up. Okay. So you have two formulas. Mc delta theta and ml. Yeah. I want you to tell me what formula you need for each step. So from step one to two, 
Do you need MC delta theta or do you need ML? MC delta theta. MC delta uh, And then two to three. ML. Yeah, or rather I should say two to four. This part needs ML. Okay, and then five to six. Uh, MC delta theta. And then seven to eight. ML and then eight to nine MC delta theta. Okay? You only need ML but it changes its state. Yeah? Okay. So I think you can do this one for me. You have look, you have one kilogram of ice at zero and you want to make it steam at a hundred. How much energy do you need in total? Yeah. You understand the question, Dan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can help you too. So you have ice at zero Celsius. Mm. Then it becomes water at zero Celsius. Then it becomes water at 100 Celsius. Then it becomes steam at 100 Celsius. So you've got three problems to calculate here. So it's all on one, one, seven kilo gram your mass. Maybe, I thought that's kind of small. How mass? Oh, I said it's one kilogram. Yeah, the first play is the well. The, yeah, the first one. What formula do you need? You need three, three. ML. Yeah, yeah. It's three, three, four. It's three, 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 four, four thousand. Yeah, solid. Yeah. Joules. Yeah, k k k joules. Yeah, yeah, k joules or just yeah. joules here. Yeah. Now, water at zero. Uh, water to hundred. What formula four, do you need? Four one eight k. MC delta theta. Yeah. That's four one eight eight joule. Yeah, zero 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 yeah, yeah. joules. Yeah. And then what formula do you need for this part? Two solid. What formula do you need? Oh, M, M L. L. Yeah. The M is one and the L is oh, two two six five K joule. Joules. Yeah. So, how much energy is that? What's the total? Three one one seven k. Solid. Yeah. yeah, you're right, uh, Summer. Three one one seven. Well, you could even say actually what I would say is three point one one mega joules. That's a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lot of energy. It's very difficult to make steam, especially if you start with ice. You need a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, MC delta theta. It goes from water from zero water a hundred. Uh, not four one eight one. Well, yeah. Okay. You're right, Go. Sorry, it's four one eight one. But I, that that won't that won't change that won't change this answer. I, I get uh, three o one seven. I I trust you and I trust you. It's about three megajoules. It's still a lot of energy. Three megajoules at least. Okay. How are we doing? I think we've got, we've got time maybe for. One more. Can I continue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have I got three more examples? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do one more. Okay. Uh, 
you have 200 grams of water and then you put in 10 grams of ice and you mix them together until they're at the same temperature. Let's see. How much energy will be required to bring the mixture to 10 Celsius? Okay. This one's not too difficult. Let me draw the picture. So you have some water. Okay. How much water do you have? You have 200 grams. And how much ice do you have? 10. 10 grams. Now listen carefully. I mix these together so they're the same temperature. What temperature are they? What is the temperature of the water and the ice if they're the same temperature? No. Yeah. 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 Uh, Khalifa, listen. Khalifa. It must be zero, right? Must be. If they're the same temperature, they must be zero. Can they both be one? No. The water could be one, but the ice couldn't be one. Could they both be minus one? The ice could be minus one. The water couldn't. Zero is the only possibility for both of them. They're both at zero. Okay. Now, what I want to do, uh, so they're at zero. What I want to do is to bring the temperature up to 10 Celsius. So what will happen to the ice? It will melt in. Okay. I want to know how much energy I need to put in to do this. What's my delta Q? I think you can get this. You need ML and MC delta theta. Now, uh, if it helps, you should think of this as two things. You should think of it as water and ice. And the water and the ice is now water. Sure. Yeah. Okay, shall we look at the answer? So, first what I'll do is I'll look at the, the green water. Okay, What temperature is it at here? Zero. What temperature do we need in this picture? Ten. So it's M, yeah? C, delta theta. Now, let's look at the ice. The ice has to do two things. First, the ice has to melt and become a liquid. Yeah. So that's ML. What's the L? What number is the L for ice? Latent heat of vaporization? Three? Say again, sir? Three, three, four, yeah. thousand. Yeah. Then after the ice becomes water, it has to increase to 10 Celsius. Yeah. So plus M C. Delta theta. That's the answer. Uh, did you get an answer, Ben? Joules. Okay. Did you get this, Sean? Yeah. 
Oh, and then you made it one liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Same answer. Yeah, so yeah. 12 kilojoules. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, it's... tomorrow. So wait, uh, your homework, you need to, uh, page 71, did you, you did question one and two, yeah? So can you try and finish them tonight? Yes, sir. We'll continue tomorrow, okay. Oh, <laughs>